Hi everyone, my name is Carolyn and I am back for the final installment of my Elements First Impressions series. Fire signs are very energetic, they're full of dynamic energy. It manifests itself differently across the three different fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. There's a common theme among all three, which would be confidence in oneself, but again it's expressed differently in each of the signs. Also in different planets that you might have in a fire sign in your natal chart. So I guess we'll start from the beginning with Aries. Aries is the first sign. It is ruled by Mars. When I meet an Aries person, I just kind of roll with the punches and follow their lead. And they're very fast. They're kind of impatient. They like to do things right away. They're even the kind of person that will be early to a meeting just because they can't wait to get started. Aries is the cardinal fire sign, not to mention the first of the 12 zodiac signs, they kind of have this innate knowledge of how to start things, how to dive head first, how to get the ball rolling with excitement, spunk. They can be feisty, they can be warriors, they can be hot headed, very impulsive impulsively aggressive sometimes. That's just the nature of Aries. Aries will be super pissed off at you one moment and then they'll get over it and they'll forget about it and move right along with their day and be perfectly fine. I saw a meme, <laughs> it was perfect about Aries. It had Hades from Hercules with his head on fire and then it was like, oh, it's cool, it's cool, I'm cool. <laughs> and that's kind of how Aries are, where they'll have these bursts of anger and rage and basically just wanna punch someone in their face. Sometimes you will get punched in the face by an Aries. Give it an hour and they are cool as a cucumber, moved on to the next thing. An Aries wants to win at all costs. They're born winners. All they do is win, 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 no matter what. It's a party in the first house, bitch. If I see that you've got your Venus or your Mars in Aries, then I'll know right away that you're extremely passionate in your relationships and you don't do anything halfway. Even if it's a very short-lived thing, you'll still put your all into it while it lasts. Aries in public life, they'll, they'll be the really old person that just won't stop even when everyone wants them to. Like... Nancy Pelosi is an Aries. I couldn't be less surprised when I looked it up the other day. She's 74 years old. She's been in charge of the Democrats for 12 years now and she is just ridiculous. It doesn't matter, just do what she says is basically how she rolls. It, it garners a lot of support and that's what Aries do too. They're good at galvanizing whoever they need to influence. They're really good at galvanizing that in the moment to capitalize on it. Great business people, I've said it before. All right, let's move on to Leo. Leo. Now, I could also name a few Leo politicians. Fire signs are good in politics because they like to, well, Aries and Leo are good politicians. Sag, not so much, but Aries and Leo are because they really enjoy being in power. Leo is the fifth sign. It's ruled by the sun, the lion. When I meet a Leo, the first thing I do is just kind of gauge their personality. You will meet a huge array of different Leos. You'll have those that are leaders, inspiring, creative, kind, generous, warm. They have this innate self-confidence and self-love. It just emanates from within them. They don't have to talk about it. My favorite kind of Leo. Some will be annoying into themselves, arrogant, egotistical, pompous, conceited. But in general, I like Leos. Most people do. Most astrologers do. What is Leo? Leo is basically a lot of positive things. It's almost like when I think of Jupiter, Jupiter is like the best planet. It's the lucky planet. It sprinkles fairy dust on whatever it touches. It's a very positive, pleasant planetary influence to have in your chart. And it's just uh, my favorite planet. It's a lot of people's favorite planet. Well, Leo is kind of <laughs> the sign that gets all of those warm accolades from astrologers. Well, one, it's ruled by the sun, which is the most important luminary star in our solar system. So it automatically gets points there. Another thing that people love about Leo is they rule the heart. They do have big hearts. A mature Leo has so much love for themselves that their heart is full of love for other people. Leo's the fixed fire sign. Once they've made up their mind, they stick to their guns. Stubborn. They can win a fight. They aren't as focused on winning as an Aries is per se, but they are really. But they just have more charisma. Way more charisma <laughs> than an Aries. 
no offense that's why leos are so adored because they're so charismatic they just have this natural aura and glow even the quiet leos have this subtle silent confidence about them leo rules the fifth house of love creativity yes leo rules love <laughs> another reason why they are so loved if you have your venus in leo then you are so romantic like the romantic comedy you want that passion that spark you never want it to go away you want to be the queen you want to be the king and so you must find someone that treats you as such leos do not like to be criticized they love to be admired they love to be praised it's really easy to get a leo to like you all you have to do is compliment them <laughs> i've done that so many times make it a sincere compliment tell them you like their hair and uh yeah they'll think you're all right it's really funny same with libra Libra and Leo, just give them a compliment. Sagittarius, on the other hand, if you give a compliment to them and it's not sincere, they'll probably call you out on it. They can be blunt. They're the last fire sign. They're the mutable fire sign. They rule the ninth house of philosophy, higher education, traveling long distances, religion, basically large institutions of higher knowledge, colleges, you know, studying abroad is very ninth housey kind of thing. The ninth house and Sagittarius it's not all about physical travel. It's also about traveling in your mind, broadening your horizons as far as your own wisdom. Sagittarians are always on that hunt to grow, expand, do more, learn more, experience more, and adventure the world. They're very brave. All the fire signs are very brave, courageous. They don't have a lot of fear at all holding them back. The fire signs like to push the limits of what they can do where they can go, who they can be. Sagittarius is probably my favorite fire sign, I'll be honest. Most Sag people have a balanced head on their shoulders where it's not actually that balanced, but it's very positive, optimistic head on their shoulders. Their ruling planet is Jupiter. I went on that little spiel about how Jupiter is the favorite planet of most astrologers. Well, Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, so they've got Jupiter's blessing. They've got the lucky touch. They are able to expand and grow. Opportunities will appear in front of them. They are never one to let an opportunity pass them by. Another thing that I admire about Sag, but also Aries and Leo, they will not hesitate to say yes. If I find that you've got Venus and Sagittarius, that might tell me that you want to play the field. You don't really want to get tied down unless you find someone that is just as adventure oriented as you, that has just as much curiosity inside of them as, as you do, a need to experience more before settling down. Then you could experience it together and just keep the ball rolling and just experience and you, you don't know what's going to happen. It's spontaneous. That's how it is with all the fire signs because when you think about fire, it flickers, it dances. It's bright. All this fire energy can manifest differently, yet in similar ways, across Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. This stuff might seem extremely basic, and you might think that these videos are unnecessary, or that I do a poor job of putting them together. I think for the most part, it's great for the people who are learning about astrology. It makes sense when you think about the actual element fire, earth, air, water. Those elements do correspond to the traits of the signs and of the natives that those signs are present in. I'm gonna wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed. As always, leave a comment, let me know what you thought, questions you have, or experiences that you have had being a fire sign, or knowing a fire sign, or having some certain planets in your chart in fire signs, like me. I've got my Jupiter and Mercury in Leo, they do happen to be in the ninth house of Sagittarius, but yeah, I've just got Leo fire energy in me, in case you were wondering. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Love you. Namaste.